Hello everyone. Today we want to talk about someone who has carried out a major scam in the cryptocurrency realm and has pocketed billions of dollars. The gentleman you see in the picture is named Sam Bankman Fry. He is also referred to as SBF for short. In 2019, SBF launched a cryptocurrency exchange called FTX, which many of you may be familiar with. After founding this exchange, Bankman quickly climbs the ladder of success and reaches the pinnacle of the cryptocurrency world. He becomes so famous that in the news, he is known as the cryptocurrency king. News outlets heavily praised Sam Bankman Fry, leading many prominent companies like Silicon Valley giants and even Wall Street to invest in his company, FTX, pouring billions of dollars into it. After these investments, FTX became the fourth largest cryptocurrency exchange in the world. They paid some of America's most famous individuals to extensively promote FTX. News outlets made this exchange even more famous over the course of two years, praising Sam Bankman Fried daily. For example, they described Sam as a brilliant young man who launched a very cool company and helps the poor and charities a lot. This trend continued until we reached the year 2022, precisely when cryptocurrency prices kept falling day by day. At this time, many companies operating in the cryptocurrency sector were heading towards bankruptcy. However, Sam Bankman Fry, with the funds from FTX, rescued these companies and prevented them from going under. Following these events, the media once again became active and started praising Sam Bankman Fry, the genius who saved these companies from bankruptcy, and colloquially expressing how great his work was. Sam himself portrayed as a hero and in his interview stated that sometimes one must incur losses but not let others collapse and perish. Everyone was enamored by Sam and kept praising him. However, his heroics didn't last long. Just a few months later, on November 2, 2022, the website Coindesk, a cryptocurrency news outlet, revealed some confidential information about Sam Bankman Fried's empire. It's important to note that such companies usually have backing, like a currency backed by gold. The backing of the FTX website was also a type of cryptocurrency called FTT. The Coindesk website wrote in one of its disclosures that $14 billion of the cryptocurrency FDT was in a company called Alameda Research. And who is this company for? Sam Bankman Fry. It means this gentleman has somehow gone underwater. After this disclosure, neither Alameda Research nor FTX company showed any reaction. But the market reacted to this article. Many thought there might be fraud involved. So for this reason, they sold a large number of their FDT currencies. Following this event, the price of FDD dropped downwards. After these developments, Binance, which is the second largest exchange in the world, announced that they will no longer buy or sell FDD. And this was the final blow to the destruction of the FDD currency. The fall of this currency started again, and the day after, the Wall Street Journal published an article with the title that FTX company, with people's money, entered trading risks and incurred losses and is collapsing. FTX wasn't like a bank to invest people's money elsewhere. No, this company was consuming people's money elsewhere, not to invest and increase the money. And it presented itself and its company in a way that everyone said this company would never fall. Since Coindesk website exposed this story, and all these things we mentioned took only nine days. That is, Coindesk published the article on November 2nd, 2022. And on November 11th, 2022, Sam Bankman Fried resigned from the management of FTX. And the FTX company announced bankruptcy. That means a powerful company that everyone knew and accepted, and many celebrities promoted it every day, was destroyed in nine days. Millions of people had made purchases through this website, and all of their money was lost because there wasn't even any money available to be returned to these individuals. After these events, everything was left to chance. The court had to find some assets from this company and sell them to be able to repay some people. 
but the likelihood of anyone getting their money back was almost zero. This incident caused reputable websites to also come under scrutiny, and people started to wonder if they might also go bankrupt. For this reason, these websites declared that we show all of our accounts. You can even see our reservations to make sure we are not scammers like FTX. Perhaps you wouldn't believe it, but the bankruptcy declaration of Mr. Bankman is one of the biggest bankruptcy declarations in the world. In summary, Sam Bankman is arrested, but he is released on bail until the court day. The court was held on March 28, 2024. SBF's accusations was charges of billions of dollars fraud, money laundering, and raising people's money were announced. Finally, Sam Bankman was sentenced to 25 years in prison. He said in court, I made mistakes in my decisions, but ultimately I am not willing to apologize to the people. The judge also commented, this gentleman is not remorseful at all. When asked about his punishment, Sam replied, No, I don't need it. It was announced in court that he had embezzled over $11 billion of people's money, and it's unclear where this money is. The court stated that the reason for this heavy sentence is due to this debt. If Bankman brings back the money and returns it to the people, he is likely to be released. However, no one is optimistic about this. Some say Sam has hidden this money somewhere and his friends are helping him secretly. Others say he has squandered the money. But in my opinion, if you pay attention to his body language, he's implying that the money is in his control. So don't worry. What do you think? I hope none of you have suffered any losses. Where do you think Sam Bankman's money is? Does he return the money to the people? Let us know in the comments.